I um, I got I got sort of dragged onto the board of the Peel Center as a uh, as someone who had worked at the old the former Peel Museum for a long time and had done city history there for for almost fifteen years and exhibitions and um, it was through my connections and friendships with Jim Diltz and then Nancy Proctor and, and others on the board that I said I finally said okay I ready to come and unpack my emotional baggage of having worked there and spent every day of my life over 14, 15 years there, um, sharing Baltimore history with people and trying to make a difference in people's lives that I said, all right, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm ready to kind of help, help revive and uh, see what this next chapter of the building's uh, life is like, because it was a, uh, the building is, and the place is a special to me as really deeply personal meaning in my own life, in my family's life. The the Peel is a really special place. It, there was a, a scholar of, of, of the Peel family named Lillian B. Miller, who was the, kind of the dean of the Peel scholars, who worked at the National Portrait Gallery, and she's passed since. Um, she used to bring her graduate students to the Peel when I was there. And she would stop at the door and step inside and say, let's take a moment, folks. We are on sacred ground now. And for her, and it was transmitted to me, that this place um, was special because of what Rembrandt did and his audacious Rembrandt Peel, this audacious idea of opening a museum, um, ultimately didn't work, but this audacious ambitiousness uh, the spirit of of inqui uh, inquiry and and sharing and and creativity, um, I see that today. I see. I, I that's my hope for the future. That um, the building I knew and worked in as this kind of platform and vessel for learning and for engaging and for understanding where we are and and who we are in Baltimore, uh, that it continues. Um, the building itself. Um, you know, buildings are just buildings. Uh, it's you know th those of us we we are the ones who who make things happen in them. But uh, but the building itself, as a survivor, as a place that had been reused and repurposed um, as Baltimore City Hall, as a school that then during a, the era of racial segregation and and white supremacy, when when Black Baltimoreans were finally given a public public school system but a se separate but une and unequal as we know. Uh, and the Peel's chapter over about 10, 12 years as a, uh, a so-called colored school, um, this, 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 these layers to this building that just won't go away, um, kind of, you know, kind of inspires me. And it's like a lot of Baltimoreans, we're, you know, we're, we're stubborn, right? We're, we're stubborn and uh, even the museum I work for closed. To see it um, closed in 1997, to see the place, you know, revive and keep going is, um, you know, appeals to my sense of uh, of Baltimore stubbornness and uh, and and um, you know this notion that we need to do better, we need to keep trying some new things to build better, you know, build better communities and make make people aware of of, of you know kind of who we are and where we've been. Um, that's that's been my whole work life in in public history and museum work. Um, so the Peel embodies all that, and I'm excited um, to see new people get excited about the building. So some of some of what I love about it is the fact that people care. A new generation or generations younger than me are coming along and caring about it and saying, "Oh, things special things can happen here." Um, you know, it really is, and again, it goes back to what we're going to make of it and what we do make of it. So this, um, the notion that that space and, and places can inspire us and and uh, and um, create these, you know, place create pla create a place of of creativity or right? a place of understanding or discussion that um, um, that we have too little of. Um, so um, in our in our public life and our civic life, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. That uh, kind of I guess you might say it's kind of the peel. Maybe it's unfinished business for me. Somebody you know, somebody can psychoanalyze me and say, okay, you, you're not done yet with this building, a um, place you you know you you put your blood, sweat, and tears in over the years, and then watched close and shutter. So so maybe for me it it is that also again back to that stubbornness, back to that 
damn it, we uh, we could still do good things, um, and we need we deserve we deserve it. We we owe it to ourselves and um, to do better and to do uh, to do more and do better.